Azure SQL Dynamic Data Masking empowers you to limit sensitive data exposure by masking it to non-privileged users in your Azure SQL databases and Azure Synapse Analytics. Tune in to learn more on this episode of Data Exposed. Hi, and welcome to this episode of Data Exposed. I'm Anna Hoffman, and today I'm joined by David Trigano, a program manager at Microsoft, and David Brookler, a principal software engineer at Microsoft. So let's start with you, David T. Can you tell us a little bit about what you and your team does? Thanks, Anna. So yes, my name is David Trigano. I'm a program manager at Microsoft working on Azure Security Center team, focusing on securing SQL Server for our customers that are using our service for on Azure and on-premises. Awesome, very cool. So it seems like your focus is security, but you're also focusing on SQL these days. So thanks for being here. And David B, uh, do you do something similar? Can you tell us a little bit more? Yeah, I'm a, a principal software developer and I work on database security, including uh, features such as dynamic data masking, which we're gonna be demoing. Awesome, so maybe let's let's go ahead and, and start there. What are, we, what are you guys gonna share with us today? So David and I are going to give you a closer look at a new capability our team has been working on, which allow you to manage data access with more granularity and better control access to insensitive data. Dynamic data masking is a core component for Azure SQL database and Azure Synapse Analytics that allows you to limit sensitive data exposure by masking it to non-privileged users. As a policy-based security feature, dynamic data masking also allows customers to prevent unauthorized access to sensitive data by enabling them to designate how much of the sensitive data to reveal without compromising their performance and compliance. It's very simple and, and easy to enable. Let me show you how it works. So here I am on the Azure portal looking on my SQL database called DDM Demo. This is an Azure SQL database and I'm actually looking at dynamic data masking feature that allow me to mask uh, columns basically with functions. So I have multiple functions here, as you can see, email, social security number. I also have a default value to mask my columns and I can also have custom string. I also have recommended mask that I can, uh, recommended fields, sorry, that I can mask automatically. So here I have first name and last name, and I can basically mask them, save. And as you can see, within, within few seconds, dynamic data masking automatically mask my columns. I can also here add SQL users that I want to uh, let them see the columns that I previously masked. So let's add test user. And as you can see now, test user have has access and can see these uh, columns. I can also decide to manually add a masking rule. Let's take, for example, this table compensation. I have here a column called bonus and I can decide to give there uh, the default value of a random number range as a masking field format. So I just have to add this mask and save it. Now that I show you how you can configure dynamic data masking via the Azure portal, David Brookler will show you how you can do the same with SSMS by using T-SQL commands. Hey, thanks, David. Um, now, if we look at my screen over here, we'll um, see how the masking actually is applied to uh, the query results. Okay, so now I'd like to show you the query results for the test user, which uh, David had set up as being a user that had the unmasked permission granted to it. So if we execute that, we'll see that we're able to see all of the different tables, all of the different values in the tables. However, if we revoke that permission from the user and then re-execute um, those queries again. Now we see that we get masking of the email, the social security number, the salary and bonuses are masked down to zero and we get X'd out for the routing number and the account number. So now I'd like to um, demo a new dynamic data masking capability, the granular use of the unmasked permission. 
This capability is not exposed through the portal, so you need to use T-SQL commands directly through a tool such as SSMS. To demonstrate granular um, unmask, let's create four different users, each able to see different parts of the database. Okay, so we're gonna start out with an HR employee who would like to be able to see the things within the human resources schema. So let's create that. Okay, next we're gonna have an HR manager. They need to be able to see the human resources schema, but they also should be able to see the compensation table. So what we've done here is we've created the human resource manager. We granted the unmask on the schema and also on the particular table. So let's execute that. Okay, now we wanna create an HR intern. So the intern should have access also to the human resource schema, but we don't want them to be able to see the social security number of the employee. So we'll deny the unmask on that particular table, uh, that particular column, sorry. And for um, last, we'll create a payroll manager who is not able to see the human resources schema, but instead will be able to see the finance schema. So let's uh, do that. And then we'll see now what happens um, for the different employees. So we'll start with the HR employee. So if we execute these queries, okay, now we see that they're able to see the human resource table, but the salary and bonus and the routing, the banking information, this information is no longer available to them. If we instead execute as the HR manager, okay, same queries, but now um, the HR manager is able to still see the human resources. Now they're also able to see the compensation, but they still are not able to see the banking information. Our HR intern executing is that. The banking information is still not available. The salary compensation, that's not available. They can see the human uh, resources table, but the social security number is now masked out. And last but not least, if we get to the payroll manager and execute for them, we see that they're not able to see the information from the human resources schema, but they are able to see the salary information and the banking information, just what we wanted. Great, thank you. Thanks, David. So as you saw, guys, we recently added similar permission to dynamic data masking at the schema level, the table level, and the column level, which makes this feature so much powerful. Awesome. Thanks, both David T. and David B. Uh, you know, I had seen this idea of denying and allowing at the database level, but this new capabilities around schema and table and column level is really going to allow you to specify the exact granularity of permissions that a user should have and really nothing more than that. Um, so really cool stuff. Thanks for sharing it today. And uh, you know, if you enjoyed this video and are interested in learning more about dynamic data masking for Azure SQL Database, um, we will include a link in our description, but it's aka.ms slash Azure SQL DDM. Um, and we hope you'll go check it out. And if you like this video, please like this video, leave us a comment, uh, let us know what you'd like to see more of, and uh, stay tuned for the next episode of Data Exposed.